on this exercise, we talked a little bit about proportion. The convergence is being driven by vanishing points on our paper. We won't always have that. Um, we've talked about how we see more, a greater width of this side than, than what we see here. But um, as uh, we move forward, most of our drawings, we're not going to have vanishing points on our page. Um, but while we have them on our page, I want to talk about uh, what we'll call three cube rules. Um, and this has to do with a cube that, again, is, is oriented. Uh, the angle is 45 degrees to the picture plane, um, which is not always the case, but it's, it's easy for us to talk about uh, now in the beginning. If an object uh, is right on that horizon line, the, the cube is right on that horizon line. There are a few things that, that I want you to take note of. Um, one is that the angle left and right for a line, for a vanishing line, for like the bottom edge or the top edge of a cube, those angles are equal. Um, so this angle is equal to that angle and it stays that way as you move up. And in fact, if it's a cube, that point, that point, and that point are in line with one. This is the easiest uh, scenario. Both sides, we see uh, the same size, it's drawn equally. And the rate of convergence, how quickly these lines converge towards one another, towards that vanishing point, that rate of convergence is, is consistent on both sides, it's equal on both sides. So there's our, there's our simple scenario. But when we start to move off of that horizon line, again, these cubes are still oriented 45 degrees to the picture plane, um, but now they've moved left and right. Uh, and I will tell you that most of the time that you uh, start a drawing, you probably want to see one side, one of those sides uh, with less um, foreshortening than the other. So this is foreshortened a little bit less, that rate of convergence is slower going towards the right vanishing point and faster, and that's, that's maybe not as easy to see, but these lines converge faster towards this vanishing point. They have to get there quicker, and these lines converge slower. I see, um, I draw this side to be larger, and this side to be smaller, and then look at the angles. So I have a shallower angle, shallower meaning closer to zero, a shallower angle off that horizon, uh, horizontal, and here I have a steeper angle. So shallower and steeper. And it's a mirror image, so if I flip it over to the other side, it's the, it's the other thing. I can even take this, this drawing and flip it over like this, uh, and basically those rules are, are mirrored. Um, but there are three things to think about. One would be the angle, how shallow or steep is it? The other thing is gonna be uh, how much of one side do you draw? Like, is it larger or is it smaller? And then the third thing is the rate of convergence. If I have a shallower angle, it's going to have a slower rate of convergence. If I have a steeper angle, it's going to have a, a faster rate of convergence. Um, that comes into play way more later. So this is, this is a great uh, page for your reference moving forward. Um, and then I've just put this down here to help you think through it. So let's, let's figure out first where this cube is relative to the horizon line and the horizon line. Well, I see the bottom of the cube, so it's above the horizon line. Uh, I have a faster rate of convergence going this way and a slower rate of convergence, meaning that that vanishing point is further away over here and closer over here, which means that it is shifted to the right of the horizon line. Um, and so I've got these, these are the things that I want to think about. Which angle is steeper? Well, we just talked about it. That's the quicker rate of convergence. So the angle going to the right vanishing point is steeper. In which direction do the converging lines converge at a slower rate? I go to the left. Which of the two side surfaces do we perceive or do we draw larger? see um, those side surfaces with this one, which is also the left. 
uh, and we talked about this a minute ago, describe the cube's position relative to the Verizon line. Well, I say more of this side, so it's moved over to the right. It is to the right. Okay, so here, what do we got? Well, um, and notice also, these three cubes up on the top part of the page are all within the same perspective setup. I've moved these around, so these cubes do not uh, work with one another. Um, they are not on the same perspective grid. So this one, even though it's in the middle down here, what, what it's telling me is this, I see all kinds of things that are equal. It's equal rate of convergence left and right. I see this side and this side about the same. This is below the horizon line. Um, which angle is shallower? That's a trick question. Neither. And that's just looking at this angle versus this angle. Obviously, these get shallower as they move towards the horizon line, but I'm comparing left and right. Um, compare the rate of convergence left and right. Uh, same rate. Which of the two side surfaces do we perceive to be larger? Another trick question. Describe the cube's position relative to the horizon line that's on it. Okay, which angle is steeper? The angle going to the left. Vanishing point, that's steeper. Uh, in which direction do the converging lines converge at a faster rate? Left. Which of the two side surfaces do we perceive to be smaller? Left. And describe the cube's position relative to the horizon line. This is getting larger. The right side is getting larger. The left side is getting smaller. So it's shifting to the left. It's kind of this example right here. Good morning. Architect Frank Lloyd Wright was born on this day in 1867. He designed more than 1,000 structures in his lifetime, including what many consider his masterpiece, Falling Water. Thanks, It's a high Siri. above a waterfall, which really comes in handy if someone's hogging a shower. So this is to the left of the vanishing point. There's not a good L. Okay. Why is all that important? Um, it may not seem that important right now because we've had our training wheels when we drew these cubes, um, which told us a lot. Obviously, we needed some help with the proportion. That's where I got the, the size of those different sides. But uh, where this comes into play is, is when we start to draw something where our vanishing points are off the page. Uh, and so I'm just going to draw a quick little cube and show you how that comes into play. There's a couple of things I want you to pay attention to that have to do with what we've done so far. Um, one is going to be the angle of my paper. So basically, I'm, I'm going to uh, draw the same line over and over and over again. I'm going to move my paper and rotate it so that I'm basically just repeating that line. So when I, when I sketch a cube, I like to start with the leading edge. So that's gonna give me the size of the cube. But now I want to figure out, okay, what is the orientation I wanna see this drawing? And so uh, I'm gonna think about those angles. I'm gonna put an angle in that's, that's fairly shallow. What that means is that I've already decided, uh, well, let's see, shallow versus steep, right? So what that means is I've decided that this cube is to the left of the horizon line, and so it's going to affect the rest of this. At this point, I still have not established uh, where those vanishing points are. One thing we haven't talked about yet is that the vanishing points are always on the horizon line, if my object is sitting flat. But I haven't established how far away that is. By putting the next line in, I establish the rate of convergence for the right, which ultimately would establish, if we follow this all the way out, it would establish um, the vanishing point because of the horizon line. Where they meet, it would establish where the horizon line is. And that horizon line is going to be straight and flat. But my rate of convergence is, is slow, right? I've got a shallower angle, so my rate of convergence is slow. And then over here, um, my rate of convergence is going to be much faster. 
there are tricks, and we'll talk about this next lesson. The, the line most commonly missed. Uh, most people can get these front two faces uh, in perspective and sketching freehand um, fairly well. But where a lot of people make mistakes is missing this line. It's difficult for some reason to make sure that, that people pull that line down far enough. So it still needs to converge this way. And then this rate of convergence is faster. So pulling this point is even more difficult for people when they first get started. But there's my cube. And notice I'm drawing lots of lines in here. So this is my freehand technique. And notice the gesture. Also notice how I'm, I'm moving my page. But there I've established a cube. Um, and if I wanted to, I'd come back in with another pin or something else and uh, a straight edge. If this was my end goal, this is where I was headed. And I can tighten up some of those lines. But we'll save that for later. Um, there are a couple other things I want us to pay attention to. But um, the main thing here is, is thinking about... Uh, how those cube rules apply to, to establishing this. My vanishing points are way off the page, but if I think about those three cube rules, then um, I, can, I can do better in setting this drawing up. And uh, the cube or a rectangular element oftentimes becomes the beginning of a drawing that then you might, you might, might change as you move forward. I'm going to do that one more time without talking through it, and hopefully you can recognize what I'm doing. Again, pay attention to the angle of my paper. Pay attention to how I just kind of, to create convergence, I can even just adjust the angle of my paper to, uh, to establish that convergence. Okay, so um, draw another cube right there, uh, bottom angle. I'm going to do this the opposite of what I did last time. I'm going to make a steeper angle going in that direction and a shallower angle going in this direction. But just look at just the, the little bit what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm to get this last line. I've, I've moved the paper. So this was this line. I've moved the paper and I've rotated it just a little bit. And we'll see how this looks. just a second. So line, move the page, I'm repeating the same thing, and angle the page. Right? So line, move, change angle. Now let's see how this looks. Um, that looks pretty good. Maybe I could change, it looks like maybe my convergence is equal going back towards the right. 